Hey, from Canada. Today, right now, shoot, what time is it? Three o'clock? We got a late start to today because we went to town. Oh, we got, we got to go get some parts. True. So it wasn't a start. It wasn't a late start. It was just, you know, you got to go to town and meet the locals and, you know, you got to go meet the, the guy down at the hardware store and get on a first name basis. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, so we're just picking up where we left off on the interior. Um, as you can see, in layman's terms, we've been gutting it. Um, we got these things out uh, kind of yesterday. Not sure if I filmed that. It's pretty easy. But we got to get some of these little suckers out of there. That's going to be a pain in the butt right there. Just get some of those out. But, uh, hey, just know, yep. just know that your kids are safe because these bolts are sure as heck really in there. So That's true. Safety first, people. Safety first. <laughs> Let's get to work. tripping. I'm on, the, I'm on the struggle bus, I'll tell you that one. This guy's trying to put wrong bits in the wrong hole over here. No, not the wrong bits in the wrong hole. I'm trying to... Here's the problem. They make really crappy bits that just bend. You guys see this? And then you're 20 minutes from the store and you're stuck because a bit won't work. It's alright though. Yeah, it's okay. There's always more things to do. So we basically... We, we broke and then broke and then broke and because they're like Allen wrench. Ooh. What? Mess with the Allen wrench. Oh, we're not using an Allen wrench. <laughs> <laughs> so we got these Allen wrench bits, basically, and we s broke, like, I don't know, we broke one of them at least, like, four times, and then we started using the star bits on there. Nothing's, nothing's really working. We need more of them, but they, they don't sell the single size we're looking for. Well, so I'm not. over here. I'm, I'm just going to try and rip out this floor. This guy thinks he's going to reinvent the wheel or magically, poof, create some thing that's going to work, but we'll, uh, we'll get them out. I like the ambition. Been there, done that. Basically, what you need to know, it's not so much the time that you're working on the bus, it's all the trips back and forth to the hardware store. Yes. <laughs> all right, about an hour later or so, we uh, found the uh, center where all the wood comes together, all the seams, so we've just been taking out screws. Mike's been, you know, screwing with the screws. And uh, yeah, we're just uh, working away. Look at that. First time bare floors. Uh, so this bus isn't as rust free as we thought. You know, being a wet Pacific Northwest bus, there is a little bit of rust, but it's just like surface rust. It's not like corrosion. Corrosion being the worst of the two. But we do have a little bit of rust. Just like I said before, the bottom is no indication of the top. And uh, when you got soggy wood like this after 16 years, that's honestly not too bad. No, it's not. Really not at all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm not too upset about it. <laughs> so on our trip into town, we stopped by several stores. One of them, I got badged this... Uh, Nice little sign, so I, f I think I'll just take a screw out of the bus and uh, put his new sign up. I feel like it matches his personality quite nicely, don't you think? There we go. Right where you can't miss it. Update. We got uh, three pieces. Three pieces out. Three pieces out. Yeah. So then we got one. Wait, one, two, three. Wait, that's a one, two, really three, small. Four, four. We got like five major pieces left. I think. I don't know. We're uh, we're tired. And uh, Michael looks like a coal miner. Do I still look like a coal miner? <laughs> <laughs> I'm under the bus, man. <laughs> I threw him under the bus. Yeah, he threw me under. Later, 
we got all the wood stripped out of this bad boy. Oh man, I don't know what I said before, but uh, there is a little bit of, of surface rust, okay? Not to be confused with corrosion. None of this stuff is corroding. None of it is disintegrating. None of it is crumbling. It just looks ugly. But we'll fix all these holes with, who knows, maybe some Bondo, maybe a, you know, some kind of caulking or something. Then we'll paint it over, we'll make it nice and waterproof, make everybody happy. You know, it looks like somebody took a freaking machine gun right here and was just like, Brrr, let's put in some chairs. Like, what? What were you thinking, dude, at the factory? Were you sipping on a cold one while you're putting in these seats? Huh? So, anyways, we're pretty beat. High five, dude. Uh, you're the man. We're gonna get it. How do you feel right now? I feel great. The bus is in much better shape than I expected. Uh, these rust, this is just rust. It's not even like you were saying, corrosion. So it's yeah. like, it's gonna be super easy to fix. And you know, you start with a good body on the bus, you're pretty much gonna, you know, set up the rest of the conversion to be a great success, so. Yeah, all right. Words from a coal miner. Yes, <laughs> I looked in the mirror once today, so, uh, not even a mirror, I looked at my cell phone posting my own story. Oh yeah. And I looked at it and I said, Damn, I really do look like a coal yeah. miner right now. He was under the bus uh, doing the, uh, you'll see if you want to watch the DIY, what how to like take out the bolts and stuff. It's a real pain in the neck. You're going to look like this at the end of it. Yeah, you're going to get pretty dirty. <laughs> so we basically, we just have this one piece left. It's real easy. We're both tired. All right, look at that. This is the front, obviously, steering wheel, but uh, we don't know from the floor. We got all the wood out. That was a lot of work. That was a lot of work. A lot of work. You know, the, apparently people are selling stripped out school buses. Uh, buses like this. And I kind of laughed at first because I was like, <laughs> why would anyone do that? That's so stupid. You know, why would you pay 10 grand for something you could pay for less? But honestly, <laughs> if you just want to build and you don't want to strip apart stuff, it took us, what, three days? Three days of knowing what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my first my first bus I stripped took me a week. Yeah. Yeah. And a half. Yeah. It's a uh, it's a lot of work. So now I totally understand. I'm like, oh, okay. If someone just wants to build, they don't want to rip apart stuff. Maybe they don't know. Yeah. Honestly, my back hurts so bad right now. It doesn't even seem like a bad deal. <laughs> so uh, this is what we got here. We got twenty. Where's the twenty six feet start from the front? Uh, no, from right there. From right here. Yeah, right Oh snap, look at that, I got 26 feet of love right there. We, we, we can measure it for sure. So, just for reference, for reference, the last bus I had was a five window, so one, two, three, four, five, right? And that's six, seven, eight, nine. So basically, I used to sit right here and drive my old bus, and this is everything. Well, here, let me back up a little bit so you can see. That's how big the last bus was, that's insane. And now it's like, boom, we've got all this extra room. So it's almost twice as big. Interior space. It's gonna be way taller, that's for sure. Not gonna have to bend down, but uh, it's coming together. What do you say, Michael? I'm, I'm happy, cause uh, pretty much it's build back time. We're gonna, yeah. start, we're gonna start welding in some frames and you know, Jax is really loving the mosquitoes. Oh, dude, so we, we had a pause, a break from the mosquitoes because it was so hot today. Uh, and the mosquitoes weren't out, but it's cooling down, and now they're, they're coming out. They're hungry. They're wanting to buffet on us. Um, geez, they're relentless little buggers. Uh, oh, also, the latitude, the sun up here in the higher latitude is super intense, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's because we're getting more sunlight or what, but uh, it's not as hot as, you know, down south, but good lord, the sun just like bakes and bakes and bakes. Ugh. How do you like the weather up here? I, I like it. I'm I'm all in for the uh, the cold nights. Have a campfire, yeah. and then uh, have the warmer days. I could do that like all day. Yeah, true. Next time we go to the store, I'm gonna get like the highest percentage of DEET uh, <laughs> bug spray possible. I got this little thing down here. I already ran out of it though. I think it's like 40 percent. Yeah. That's, you're gonna need something at least like that if you come up here. Anyways, 
I'm just going to call it a day. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.